Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going racing today in Wainoa's sixth round, a national event co-sanctioned with the AMA Hair Scramble Series. This is Black Sky Hair Scramble put on by Full Action Cycles. As you can see, we've got two cameras running today. You're gonna get Adam's race as well as mine. Here we go for me in the double A class. Let's go. all over the place. We hop into the woods here. Grant Marriott gets around me, number two from the Wainoa series. is about to start on his KTM 150. Now there's only two people in the class, Adam and this guy in front of him, Ryan McGrogan. So let's see if Adam can take him on. The small boys are screaming. I apologize for the clicking sound. We're not getting that full two-stroke sound here with that clicking noise. The camera was wobbling a little bit, so we'll have to fix that. Back over to me. I'm getting passed by number four here, Carter Calkins. Then there's this big mud hole here. That's where Marcus gets around me. We are flying through these fields. Back over to Adam. He's coming over these slippery routes. We get back down to the woods. We've got a little stream crossing. And another field. Get on it. Full throttle. Go back into the woods. Once again, I get a little bit excited. I get off the trail. I think it's a little buried up on me there. Darn it all. And the number nine of TJ gets around me. So, man, I'm falling back. This is not good off the start. I gotta stop getting okay starts. It makes me look bad when I get passed by everyone. We're following TJ through this stuff, and it's nice. It's nice out here. It's not dusty or dry. It's a little tacky and wet, just how I like it. It could be a little bit sloppier, though. I prefer it sloppy out there. I like it dirty. Okay, I shouldn't say that. 
Back over to Adam and Ryan. They're coming up through this hill, a rooty, nasty hill here. And now they start coming on this traffic from the class that starts in front of them. Adam going this whoa, he changes his mind. It's through that. Now he's on to Ryan there, but held up from some traffic. like crazy. The rear end is just not getting traction. I'm sliding. Look, I'm, I'm fishtailing. I'm just not able to get traction. I'm not putting the power to the ground. And I believe now, like this race brought it to my attention. I was really having issues with it just planted and being like stable, especially on the roots and rocks. Oh, here, there goes, I don't know who that is. I'm not sure who that was, but someone goes around me. I, I, what, I, what I'm saying though is my suspension, and I specifically think it's my rebound adjustment. It needs to be, I need to do a test day. I need to sit down and really test this thing and get it dialed in because I realize in this race that I'm definitely having some issues putting the power to the ground. Now Adam's caught up into some traffic. Ryan is getting away from him. Going down pretty hard there. Man, so he's got to get back up and rolling. And he's not happy. I would be, I would be mad too. I'd probably throw something. race today. That's why you don't see him out here ripping. Now I come into scoring. First lap is done. I'm in 14th out of 17 riders. I gotta pick it up. Back over to Adam. He is riding a lot more aggressive. Must be that crash got him going. And he's trying to hunt down Ryan so he can make that pass to take the, the lead here in the 208 class. But he's got traffic to work around. So on the second lap, they open up this enduro cross section. We got some tires here to go over and some logs out here. One thing about enduro cross sections in races 
is that they just, they can make like arm pump a million times worse. So I try to kind of relax myself in these things and not go, you know, balls out, send it, and wipe it out in front of the big crowd. You know, that's, that's my style, but I don't want to do that. Back over to Adam. He has worked his way up to Ryan. He is in sight. There's Ryan right there. Question is, is he going to be able to make a move on this lap? And there it is, Adam makes the pass to lead the 200A class. He goes through scoring, and now let's see how he does here at the Enduro Cross. I start getting a groove going. Now there's, oh, that's Grant over there stopped. Not sure what happened to him. Woo, Adam going through the mud hole. This part of the track got scarly out here. Scarly, that's my term for sketchy and gnarly. Scarly. It's a hot day today, 90 degrees, I believe. And the thing is, I'd have moments where I'd just be ripping, doing, feeling awesome. And then the next second, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna throw up. But I'd be fine, and I'd continue on, and then I would be feeling awesome again. Thank you. I should just be running everybody over, just smashing people down, kicking them when they're on the ground, running them over, like this guy. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm just kidding. Hope he's all right. Jeez, that was kind of a hard hit. I think he was all right, though. He got back up, I'm hoping. Now Grant, who has stopped back there a little bit, catches up to me now. I figure, hey, let's just, you know, try to hang with him, catch up on some time. Close. Those were the sketchy moments I was having that just kind of held me back from really charging. I, I wasn't, I'm not, I gotta, I gotta do some suspension testing. So Adam's up, up in the lead. He doesn't really have much to worry about. There's only one other guy in his class. So for him, I mean, heck, he could stop and have a cigarette. Uh, even though Adam doesn't smoke, it's something he could do. Okay, don't listen to me. This is, what am I saying? But Adam does stop for a pit stop, for fuel. He needs to pit pretty much every lap. 
So I was getting a little hot, so I decided, hey, I'll give myself a shower. I just splashed and threw that. What am I doing? I gotta be a little more aggressive with my passes. That's the one, I was a little hesitant. Woo, 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 woo. There we go, all right. Use that throttle, Zach. Come on. Something I gotta work on too is passing. I gotta just go for it. Take them out if I have to. Okay, that's a bad, no, don't listen to me. We do have a Thank lot of you. traffic out here. <laughs> Adam's camera gets blasted with some mud. And I'm just continuing on. Not too much more excitement happens. You know, I do a few more laps, so I, it ends up being a seven lap race for me. I do seven laps. I'm like, holy crap. It was a nine and a half mile long track and we did seven laps in two hours. A little longer than two hours. Hey, hey! This is like rush hour in New York City over here with Adam. He's got a lot of traffic around him. This part of the track right here, I'm going up here and there are so many routes. What in the Something happens, I'm like, what? What happened? Oh. Then I realized, oh! How annoyed, I was so annoyed for that stupid thing. But the amount of roots in some of these sections was unbelievable. But it was fun out there, and I really, I enjoyed the track a little fast for my liking. If they had thrown in a real tight, bike-only, single-track section, that would have made it. That would have made it gnarly. But uh, it, it was good, I had fun. And I ended up 17th overall out of 318 entries. Uh, 12th in double A. Adam with the win in 200 A. Congrats. Good job, everybody in the Bent Badly team. Justin for putting on this race, working it. We got a few weeks off from racing for Wynoa at least. So happy 4th of July, everybody. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.